This is my soap note from January 18th, and it is titled, But You Said. But you have said, I will surely make you prosper and will make your descendants like the sand of the sea, which cannot be counted. Genesis 32, 12. And this is when Jacob is just getting ready to return to his homeland and his brother Esau. And if you remember, Jacob stole Esau's birthright and blessing. And so the last time they saw one another, Esau had vowed to kill Jacob. So now Jacob is returning home and certainly frightened about what his brother will, how his brother will respond to him and whether or not he will actually kill him and everything he's acquired up to this point. And so Jacob prays to God and in his prayer, he repeats the same words, the same promise that God had spoken to him. And he says, but you have said. Yesterday, I heard a really powerful message about the words we speak and how if I want 2019 to be different, I have to use a different vocabulary. And this um, pastor gave a powerful message just about our words and what next level language looks like. And if we want to attain that next level, we have to change our words. And so next level language, um, it speaks with victory. It declares victory and it affirms the promises of God, just like we saw Jacob do here. And so that's what I need to be doing in my own life. If there are things that I want to accomplish, promises that God has given me that I want to see come to fruition, then I need to proclaim that in my words and in my vocabulary, and it will change how I live. And so that's what my focus is, is to, to change my vocabulary and to start with a simple prayer of God, give me the words, give me your words to proclaim over my life. Um, because I really want to see God's glory on this earth, and I believe that it can be portrayed in all of us. And so my prayer is this, Lord, give me the words to speak. Help me to understand and to know what it is you have spoken over my life, and let me claim to that, and let me declare it as victory and promise that you have given me through your son, Jesus Christ. Amen.